welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and welcome to the first sit down video that I'm filming in my new apartment. So if you guys watched my last video, which I will link up here, I did a moving vlog of moving into this apartment. So I filmed in here a little bit, but this is my first time sitting down to do like a more classic video for you guys in the new space. So as you can tell, I'm still getting used to like the lighting and the setup and the echo and the noises from outside and everything in this apartment. So please excuse any little like weird things that go on. Today, I wanna show you guys a haul of everything that I've thrifted for my new apartment. I don't think I've ever done a haul video before because I don't really shop a lot. At least I don't buy a lot of clothes or like buy a lot of things new, but I do thrift a lot and I've been thrifting a lot for my new place. So I want to show you guys everything I bought. I will tell you where it came from. I will tell you how much I paid for it. And also I'm going to give you some tips of how to negotiate for better prices when you are thrifting. So let's just jump right into it. I'm so excited to show you guys these things and give you kind of a vibe of what I'm going for in terms of the decor style in my new place. So first up, this is one of the things I was most excited to find, which are these bronze bookends of Dante and Beatrice from The Divine Comedy. This one is obviously Dante and this is Beatrice, so they're like a little pair. I've been looking for something like this for so long and normally when I've found them in the past, like they're either really expensive or they're not in a style that I really care for. So I was amazed to find these. I found them at a antique store in Frederick, Maryland called Old Glory Antiques. These were $49 for the pair and then they were were also on sale for 15% off which was a ridiculously good price I was thrilled to find them at that price and I think these are gonna look really good in my house I actually have been putting Dante on the bookshelf using him as a bookend but the way my bookshelf is set up I don't have a spot for Beatrice right now and I don't really want them to be separated so I'm gonna have to come up with something to do with them because I want to display them together I love them I've been buying a lot of pink glass lately so I have a couple of really fun little pink glass finds to show you so first up I got these little salt and pepper shakers they're like so tiny and petite but I love them they're kind of this like geometric cut glass and they're super cute. The other thing that I was really looking for was a set of new drinking glasses. So I found these, I'm just gonna show you one, but these are a set of six. So it's like this pink swirl glass. These were $36 and I got them from Do Good Vintage, which is a vintage seller in Philadelphia. Oh, the salt and pepper shakers are from her as well. So I bought these from her. They were a set of six for $36. And these were the first like pink glassware, like drinking glasses that I bought. And then I kind of decided that I wanted to get a full set. So after that, I found a set of six champagne glasses. I got these at Retrospect Vintage in Philly. And these were originally marked, I think $8 each for six of them, which is more than I wanted to pay. So I asked the people at the front desk if I bought all of them, if they would give me a better price. So instead of paying, I think $48 for the set, they gave them to me for 26, which is crazy, really good price. So I love these. And then after that, the last thing I needed was wine glasses. And I found a set of four wine glasses at Evergreen Antiques and True Vintage in Annapolis, Maryland. So I only have four of these, whereas I have six of the other ones. So I might look online to see if I can get two more of the same like pink swirl glass for the wine glasses. But these I got a set of four for $40. So all in all, I thought this was a pretty good price for like this many pieces and they're all matching. They're all that like same pink swirl. So I'm really happy with these. I'm excited to have a dinner party where I can like display all of them. So that'll be really fun. Another piece of glass that I bought recently is this cute little glass mushroom. I got this at the Fine Art Festival in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia like a few weeks ago. Can't remember how long ago I bought this, but I was with my friend Laura and we both bought one and they're so cute. I just love like all the different textures of glass that are in this. It's pretty heavy too, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use this for. Obviously it's just decor, but I think it'd be cute like on top of a stack of books or something. So I need to find a spot for him, but I love my little mushroom guy. The mushroom was $40 and like I said, it was from an artisan at the Rittenhouse Fine Arts Festival. Okay, this next thing is like maybe a little odd, but you guys tell me what you think. So this thing I bought from Retrospect Vintage, it's like a little rectangular 
filigree like napkin holder i mean i feel like that's what it's supposed to be but normally napkin holders are like not this wide so i'm not 100 percent sure what this is supposed to be i've been using it on my desk to hold like letters and paperwork and stuff so it was 14 dollars. so i thought that was a pretty good price it's made of metal and it has like a velvet like bottom so this is cute i will either use it like i said on my desk or like maybe just put it like on a tabletop to like display something i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with it but i just thought that the vibe was good on this one next i found this cool lampshade this was a dollar from the habitat store in philadelphia and it's kind of weird so you see how like on the top normally on a lampshade like these little spokes would go all the way to the center and then there's like a smaller opening where you put the light bulb these are like really wide so my problem is that i bought this and then when i got it home i realized like i don't know how to attach it to the lamp because it's not a traditional like it doesn't attach to a lamp harp or like one of those clip things for light bulbs so i'm not sure how to connect this to my lamp there's a lamp store in my neighborhood so i might take it to them and ask them like how do i use this to attach to a lamp i've never seen a lampshade like that before but it was a dollar so that was a pretty good price and i think it's really cute i love an accordion fold lampshade next up i've bought a couple of little statues recently and i want to show them to you guys there's three different ones and they're all really cute this one is a gold venus statue that i bought in nashville tennessee at a store called gas lamp antiques or gas light antiques I think it's not a gaslight, it's gas lamp. Gaslight is something else. So I'm pretty sure she's made of wood and then she's painted gold, but she's like a little carved statue of Venus and I love her. I also bought another Venus recently. This one is like really tall and heavy. She is carved out of, I thought plaster, but she's like kind of heavy for plaster. So I'm not exactly sure what she's made of, but this came from my friend Shannon at Curly Redwood Vintage. She was $100. I love her greatly. Oh, I don't think I said how much the other one was. She was 65, the gold one. This one was 100. She has really nice detailing. Like, look at that booty. Look at that hair. Like, I am obsessed with this girl. So I'm not 100% sure where these are going to end up but somewhere around the house as decor, maybe on like an end table or something like that. And then because the statues have to keep getting bigger, I got this huge bust of William Shakespeare. This came from Thunderbird Salvage in Fishtown, Philadelphia. And I love him so much. He was marked at $100 and I really didn't want to pay that much. So I asked one of the staff if they would consider giving me a better price. And this is my tip for you guys. Like if you're asking for a better price, ask them if they're willing to negotiate the price don't necessarily throw a number out there i will come back to that point in a second but i think it's always better to just say hey is there any flexibility on the price and then see what they say so she said 75 for him and i said how about 65 and she was like sure so i got him for 65 dollars, which i think is a really good price he i think is also made of plaster or something um he's pretty heavy and I've been keeping him like on a side table in my living room. It's one of the first little corners that I decorated when I moved in. So I am loving him. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a really big Shakespeare fan. So it's cool to have a really big Shakespeare on display in the middle of my living room. I feel like it's very me. I want to show you guys a couple of art pieces that I have bought recently. So this is a tapestry that I bought in Frederick, Maryland. Let's see if it's upside down. Yes, it is upside down. It goes this way. It's really big, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you the whole thing. Oh no, it was right the first time. So it's a tapestry of a woman holding a bowl of flowers and it's like a long rectangular tapestry. I am so obsessed with this. This was also a really good price. It was marked at 75 and then it was 25% off. So I paid like, I think a little over $50 for it. And I love this. I have another tapestry that I've had for many years. So I think this is kind of nice to add to my home. It just feels like very elevated. So I love her. I'm looking for the perfect spot for her because as you can probably see behind me, the walls in this apartment have molding. And so they're like, you know, certain shapes and sizes. So I'm trying to find where this tapestry is gonna fit perfectly so that I can put her up in a good spot. I have two other art pieces I bought for the house and they're both kind of big. So the first one, I don't even know if you guys can see this. It might have a bit of a glare because it's in a plastic uh, covering, but I bought 
this huge print of the Unicorn in Captivity, which is one of my favorite, favorite works of art of all time. It's in the Cloisters Museum in New York. I've never been to see it in person and I really wanna go, but I bought this print when I was visiting my sister in Fort Drum, New York for $18. I can't remember the name of the antique store, but I'll try to link it below. By the way, I will link all of the stores below if I can find them or if they have a website. I paid $18 for this. I need to get a frame for it. It's obviously huge, so I'm gonna try to thrift a frame that fits it, um, but I love this. I have a smaller version of this print and I just really wanted this huge one. I think I have a perfect spot for it in the house. So I'm really excited to get this up on the wall. This is the other art piece I bought recently. It's also hard to show because it's really big. Let me try to lean it back a little. So this is a print based on a fresco from Pompeii. The original one I think is more like green and yellow. And then this one is obviously blue and white, but I love the coloring of this. I got it from a store called Urban Verb in Manayong, Philadelphia. And I just fell in love with it. When I saw it, I didn't buy it right away. It was a little bit expensive. As is the trend with a lot of things in this video, I think this was originally marked at 265 and I asked her if she could take a better price and she said 200 so I ended up buying it and I love it. This is another one where I have not settled on exactly where I'm gonna put it yet because it needs like a really special place in the apartment, but I love her, I love the colors, I love the frame that it's in, so I'm really excited to also get this one up on the wall. Okay, next, you guys. I'm being a little extra and I bought a chandelier. I bought a 1920s American made French style chandelier. It's sitting here next to me. I'm gonna try to show it to you, but it's very fragile. So I just wanna be careful with it. So it is this like crystal tiered chandelier. And this is another one. I'm gonna set it down because I don't wanna mess with it. But this is another one where I just asked them like, can you give me a better price on this? And I really didn't think they would go down as much as they did. So I got this at a store called Classic Antiques Philly, which is on Pine Street in Philadelphia. And I had seen this chandelier like six months ago and I was certain that it would be sold by the time I went back in there to look at stuff again. It was $450 and I was like, mm, that's like a little more than I would wanna spend. But I walk in the door and six months later, this chandelier is still there. And so I started talking to the owner, who's an older gentleman who's had the store for a long time. We were just like chit chatting and I said, I love the chandelier, I can't believe you haven't sold it. Would you do a better price on it? And he said, yeah, 265. Like 450 down to 265 is such a good price. I think if I had made an offer, it wouldn't have been that low. So I was surprised that he was willing to sell it to me for that. But that's why I say like, just ask them if they can give you a better price and see what people offer. Because sometimes like in this case, he's had it for six months. Maybe he just wants to get rid of it. So he gave me a really good deal and I love it so much, you guys. I still need to find the perfect spot for it as with many things in this video. There is a like closed electrical circuit in the living room, like right above my head. And I wanna talk to the building and see if they're able to reopen it. Like it's been painted over. So I wanna see if there's any wiring left up there where I could put it in the living room. If not, I might put it in the dining room, but I love it. This is probably the most extra thing that I've ever bought, but I really love it. I think it's really, really special. And the last thing to talk about in this video is this couch that I'm sitting on. I will insert a clip of it so you can actually see the whole thing, but this is one of my favorite things that I found for the apartment and I got it for free. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. This girl was like moving apartments and she had bought a new couch and she didn't want to deal with the old one. So she was just giving this one away. And I saw the post within like 30 minutes of it being up and I swooped in and I was like, that's perfect. I want this couch. I will take it. I have been looking for a pink velvet couch online for like weeks and weeks. I really didn't want to buy one new. Couches are so expensive. Plus I love buying secondhand because it's just better for the environment. It makes me feel better about the things in my home. So finding something that was exactly what I was looking for secondhand and free is like basically unbeatable. I am so obsessed with this couch. I think it looks beautiful in the room. I wanna get a couple of little accent chairs and things to kind of play off of this in the living room, but 
This is the piece that's gonna set the tone for the whole room and I was thrilled to find this. Hello, sorry for the jump scare. While I was editing this video, I realized that the last little clips kind of got cut off, I think because my camera overheated. So I just wanted to pop in to give you guys a proper outro for this video. Let me know what you guys think of these finds. I feel like they're really setting the tone for how I want the apartment to look. I'm really excited to finish decorating so I can make a furnished apartment tour for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.